Welcome back to our Pledge Manager tutorial series. In this video, we'll cover collecting important data in backer surveys and configuring order data in the backer report for seamless connection to fulfillment. Let's start with a new and improved backer survey, which lives within the Pledge Manager. If you choose not to use the Pledge Manager, you can still use a different version of Kickstarter's backer survey as a standalone tool. The Pledge Manager backer survey allows you to gather essential data from your backers and translate it to production-ready data for easy transition to fulfillment. In the survey, you will be able to ask dynamic questions tailored to each item, which will generate SKUs for each item variant. You can access the SKU level data and make edits if needed through the Fulfillment tab in the Creator Navigation. You can also add questions to learn more about your audience and build your following, like, how did you hear about this project? Do you want to opt in to our email list? And would you like to share your Discord username? You can preview the survey by selecting both a reward and an add-on, which will allow you to view the related questions and verify that you're serving the correct experience to your backers. We know you're asking, can you preview the whole pledge manager and not just the survey? Not yet, but a backer preview mode is on our roadmap and it will be available later this year. If you use the backer survey provided through the pledge manager, you will now have access to a new and improved backer report as soon as you launch your project. This was one of the top pieces of feedback we heard when building the pledge manager. Creators need powerful, flexible tools to manage backer data. The new backer report delivers with customizable filters, segment creation, and exports tailored for common fulfillment partners. Plus, advanced features make it easy to edit addresses, deliver digital rewards, and share tracking info. Let's start with all the new filtering and segmentation capabilities, which allow you to create customized views and backer segments. You can now filter and segment by reward, add-ons, which you can use together for deeper segmentation, items and SKUs, status in the campaign from initial pledge to fulfillment, backer location, total pledge amount, pledge date, actions completed on the backer order, and what phase a backer supported your project during the campaign, through late pledges, or through the pledge manager. After applying filters, you can create a saved view. You may want to use this view as a backer segment, such as all backers in a certain shipping region, which will allow you to fulfill similar orders all at once. Give this view a name, and then you can access it anytime through these tabs. Of course, you can export the data from this report as well. Click Export, which will allow you to access our default export settings, as well as a list of templates that are compatible with common fulfillment partners. Lastly, you can complete actions with any selected backer's orders. This may look like sending a message, updating fulfillment status, editing addresses, yeah, you heard that right, adding tracking codes, and sending digital downloads. Soon, you will also be able to apply a discount or add items for your backers, two highly requested features. Thanks for watching how we set up backer surveys and how to make the most of your backer report. Join me in the next video where we'll discuss how to get your pledge manager in front of your backers, including submitting for approval, launching, and closing the checkout. If you have any questions, Kickstarter is here to help every step of the way. Visit our Help Center for more resources or to get in touch.